probably the longest gap I haven't uploaded new videos. Wake up early every day, cook and work. At night, watch TV with grandma. Day after day, never counting days before. Only realized it has been a while yesterday, since the last upload. No wonder, no wonder why I missed you all. Ha ha ha, literally get goosebumps after saying that. Nevertheless, really missing you all. All of you all right? Take good care of yourself. Must behave, be good, and keep safe during the coronavirus epidemic. This blue calico print video was filmed from last summer. And I was late sowing the indigo seeds, the perfect timing to sow should be in late spring. Due to summer heat, seeds didn't germinate well, consequently, transplanted seeding grew badly too. Therefore, the first harvest and squashing leaves were not filmed. The second harvest was even worse, so I didn't film it either. For this reason, the indigo plants were harvested from a grandfather's farm, who taught me the dying process. We all probably heard the idiom, the younger surpassed the elder. From Chinese ancient philosopher, Zunzi, he had described the transformation making of indigo. The color blue is extracted from indigo, and yet it is more vivid than indigo. There are many plants which could make indigo dye. The indigo seeds that are used, they don't grow well in my living area, just enough to germinate. Sowed the indigo seeds on loam. Transplant when they were large enough. As you look at the flower inside under the sunshine, if it is blue then you may harvest the plant for the first time. First time harvest has the best quality, the one in my video was the last harvest in autumn. In contrast, the quality was relatively bad, please excuse the plant quality in the video. This is filmed mainly because of letting you know the process of indigo extraction, I would be lazy to film otherwise. After harvesting, soak the plant in water for the pigment. Usually takes a day or two in summer. After filtering, add lime powder into it then mix it. This process called the extraction of indigo. When the liquid oxidase from indigo into blue, can therefore called completed. In this process you will need to stir consistently, afterward let it rest and the blue pigment will sink at the bottom. Then strain the surplus water and the rest in plant dye we called indigo dye. Also called blue dye, we named it, Lan Ni. I have used around 30 kilograms of plants. The two jar of product, Lan Ni, are weighed less than 2 kilograms. The flowers which bloom has less pigment in them. Normally 30 kilograms of plants could get more than 2 kilograms of product easily. Counting within the first harvest in summer, I made around 5 kilograms less of product this spring. From product to ready for dyeing, actually, there are two ways, traditionally and scientifically to make it. Scientifically, add water, soda powder and reducing agent into the product, mix them together for half an hour and it is ready for dyeing. On the other hand, traditional way is relatively slow, it depends on weather. Diluting lanny with 35 degrees Celsius water then mix with rice wine. Adding ash of soybean stalk and rest for fermentation. Into a new build vat in my video, the fermented vat I made in last winter failed because I didn't maintain the temp. This new vat temp was maintained warm, some two days when it was cold, I put on dozens of warm eggs around it. After around five days, successfully fermentation is just like it given life in the vat abstruse blue violet glazing on the surface as the resplendent galaxy that beautiful stir the compound daily until it is yellow green then it's ready in fact further more details are pointless you will understand it only if you actually print and make by yourself of course this may help with the quality of the product in term of indigo dyeing i am still a beginner i realized that so much had been written Build up a 10,000 pixels paper without the main topic, straight to the points next. During the fermentation I crafted a few blue calico board. Blue calico craft, are our precious intangible cultural heritage in China. More than 1,000 years of history, passed from generations until now. Info is on any search engine then I wrote, the principle of blue calico print. Use cooked and peeled soybeans grind into flour, add quicklime into the flour to make discharge printing paste. 
area with paste would not be painted, finished fabric is therefore with calico blue and white. As you may know that my bedroom and washroom don't have door in between, so I made a door curtain, because of the gradual color change I wanted that batik printing offer, therefore I used it. This technique is also our intangible cultural heritage, my first time on batik printing, also a beginner, the buoy of the Mio, they are very skillful in this, many particular details into this technique, the ratio of paraffin and serra, the temperature, the knife skill and speed. Anyway I still think that I couldn't manage the temp well. However I am very excited that I succeed in printing. I used this printing on the cloak too. Writing till here I feel relieved, finished another one in my bucket list, such a long journey. I will tidy up a process list when I am free, about indigo dyeing, blue calico printing, and people and things I wanted to write. Long writing, if anyone read till here must be my real love must give you a reward of my vigorous kiss. Always loving me, thank you very much. Still, be safe. Wash hands regularly, ventilating, avoid crowded area, keep it up, we are almost there, love you all.